second. Where are we? Oh, hey guys, it looks like we're at the Cox Science Center. I heard this place is pretty cool. So let's go see what we could see inside. Come on, Dad. When your mom says go to sleep, but you want to go to the beach, Magic Kong shares where you reach. You know what to yell, Super Shells. Hmm, something's fishy about this. I think I'm missing something. Oh, the bros, and there they are. Let's go. Let's go over here. <gasps> look, a shark. Um, Watch out, it might be electric. <laughs> I never, you never give me super shells. A steep ray, it sludges. A puffer fish. Whoa, did you know that the puffer fish is the most poisonous fish in the sea? Look, alligator. Whoa, right whoa, watch out. Don't put your fingers too close. He might jump ya. Hey, what's this guy over here? He's just a puffy guy that eats too much candy. Oh, he must have had a good Halloween. That's my favorite fish. That's Mimo. 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 That's a that's, that's my a favorite struck fish. fish. Guys, what do you think this puffer fish eats all day? Um, treats. Treats? Uh, yeah, probably too much, too many bread. treats. Too many spread. Maybe a lot of cereal. I don't know. Probably not his vegetables. Ha ha. Puffer fish actually eat clams and mussels that they crack open with their strong beaks. Yep, beaks. Mmm, yummy. Whoa! Oh, wait a second. Hello. You guys did not prepare me for this. Oh my God. There it is. No way. Oh, would you be scared if you saw a rattlesnake? Yes. A real one? Alligator. Whoa. Well, alligators. there's lots of alligators and crocodiles, and really, both of them are pretty scary. But I do know that the crocodile's nose is a little more pointy, and the alligator's is a little more round. Either way, if you see one, get out of there! Don't stay next to an alligator or crocodile. Those things are spooky. Hey, Super Shells. Yeah. You know what butterflies are made of? What? Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong oh, science. Wrong oh, science. Oh, I've... All wrong science. Are you sure? Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? When they land on something they plan to eat, they give it a little taste first to see if it's yummy. With their feet. As McCoy and the Salty Bros explore more of the Cox Science Center, Super Shells meets up with her new pal, Courtney. Golly, this is the best day ever at Cox Science Center, but we got more to check out and I know just the girl to show us. Let's give it up for Courtney! Courtney, Courtney! Hi, Super Shells, it's good to see you. I can't believe you get to work here. It's a this great time every day. Oh, well, I can't wait for you to show us everything we need to see yeah. here. Yeah, well, you saw our aquarium, which is great to have fun with our fish, but there's so much more to see here. We just passed our Titanic exhibit. It's our current exhibit, it's if you want to get a little bit of history in, but if you want to just have fun and let all your energy out, our Hall of Discovery is the place to be. That sounds like a great place for us, Courtney. Let's go check it all out. Come on, everybody. This is our Early Learner Center where we allow our six and under to have time play to themselves. We have a water table, we have dress up, and we of course have a giant life right Hold wall. Hold on, Courtney, maybe we should stay back. Our tornado is perfectly safe, don't worry. Are you sure, Courtney? I promise. I just met you, but I kind of already trust you. Awesome. If okay. you want to get a sense for how weather is, we have our hurricane chamber. It gets all the way up to Category 5 force winds if you want to head on in. Well, I mean, do you want to head on Let's in? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I'll watch you, Courtney. All right. You, okay. Oh, I'll try it. I'll try Come it. Come on in. Okay. okay. Are pressing it? Four, three, two, one. 
Not so bad, Courtney. Yeah, so the miles per hour is going up. You'll start to feel it soon. This is a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting right Whoa. to 40 miles an hour once we hit about 70 miles an hour. That'll be about a category one. Courtney! Courtney, this is it. Whoa, I ain't too many times. you are here, but since you're not, we can still use your help. You want to know why? Because in every episode there's a magical green conch shell. It kind of looks like this. Yeah, that's it. So be on the lookout because it's coming real soon. Alright, so if you want to train your brain, we have all kinds of brain teasers. These have been here the longest and they still stump us. Wow. So this is one of the favorites. Try to get the rings to one side without this and disassembling the rack. I know the trick because I have to know the trick, but let's see if you can. What do you mean? You gotta get them to one side? Yeah, there's no way. Honestly, you did better than some people. Okay. Hey, I'm sure I can figure out a magic trick for super shells to make something happen. But otherwise, it doesn't really seem possible. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I could do a magic trick, Courtney. Are you all right with that? Let's do it. Super Shells is gonna make these two rings on two separate ropes go onto one ring. Seems impossible, huh? Nothing's impossible for Super Shells. Courtney, I need you to help me. All on the right. count of three, can we say Super Shells? Absolutely. One, two, three. Super, super Shells! Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Wow, we did it! We we'll have to let someone else reset that, though. <laughs> I don't think this has ever been done here before. Yeah, not, not magic for sure. Right, that's right. You saw it first. Super Shales completed the impossible, kind of. She said a few people do it every day, but not today. I'm the first person to do it today by 8 a.m. That is true. You're the best. You're my new best friend, Courtney. Same. Best friends forever. Best friends forever. Thanks to Super Shales' new best friend, Courtney, for showing us around, but now it's time to meet back up with the Salty Bros for a little surprise. Come, Miss Becca! Hi, guys! Oh, can I hold it? Hi, uh, I have to do the holding, oh. but I really wanted to introduce you to my friend. This is an American alligator, and she's just a baby. Is that like Touch a it? stuffed animal? Yes, um, it's not quite a stuffed animal. It's actually a real, a real American alligator. And if you listen closely, you can hear her chatting with us. Do you hear her sound she's making right now? Oh, she just stopped, of course. <laughs> it's a mm, mm, mm sound, and that's when we know she's just chilling and talking. But if they feel threatened, you guys can pet. If they feel threatened, they will actually hiss at us. And believe it or not, <laughs> don't be scared. She's got, I got her, I got her a little teeth and her little mouth. And believe it or not, this tail is like a weapon for them. When they get 1,500 pounds and they are 15 feet long, they can actually kill a 300 pound mammal with this tail by doing what we call the kill roll or the death roll in science. You see it on Animal Planet. Whoa. And that animal will eventually tire and uh, that's how they can eat a 300 pound mammal. Miss Becca, you know a lot about alligators. Yeah, I've been actually a marine biologist for 18 years now. Wow. So I've worked at SeaWorld, I've worked in the Caribbean, and I've actually been the director here now for 13 years. So I really love my animals. How, how old is this alligator? This guy is just about three months old. Um, they are siblings, they're sisters, so uh, they were born at a zoo called Gatorama and they basically lend them to us and we keep them for just a year when they're little babies. And then we bring them back to Gatorama and get another set of babies and they grow up there. Do you know the main differences between a crocodile and an alligator? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah? Because, um, so the difference between an alligator and a crocodile that um, an alligator has a round um, beak and um, the, I 
tiny jaw, and, and the crocodile has a pointy snout. That is actually very good, and guess what? There's one other thing. Do you think crocodiles can live in fresh water or salt water, or both? Very good. So that is the two main differences between crocodiles and alligators. And what's really cool living here in Florida is we have both animals living here. We have a really unique ecosystem here in Florida that we can have alligators living in a freshwater lake. And right behind it, we'll have the intercoastal and we can have an American crocodile living right there. So guys, if you're home or anywhere around Florida and you see a body of water, expect there to be a gator in it. And yep. don't go close to it and make sure your mommy or your daddy or some adult is with you because you always got to stay safe because they got big teeth. Mm -hmm. And they can get over 1,500 pounds and 15 feet long. So these are not, you know, little babies like this all the time. So, yeah. oh, he's making the noise. Oh, you guys hear it? I think he was singing Jingle Bells. Yeah, she was just talking to us again. Oh. <laughs> oh. Making... You hear her? What do you think he's saying, shark dude? <laughs> Yeah. Why are you touching me? <laughs> What's yeah, her name again? Uh, we're thinking, we, we're actually doing a, a, the kids' vote, and so we're thinking Twix and Snickers, but they're going to do a, another vote, and then we'll figure out what the favorite was. We would say Super and Shells, but oh, you I can like do that. whatever you I want. like that. Last year, it was uh, Strawberry and Kiwi the kids voted. The year before, uh, it was Thelma and Louise. Uh, <laughs> and so nice. we'll, we'll see if it ends up being Snickers and Twix this year, yeah. but... Yeah, you guys should all vote on our website. We'll have it up, so. Well, let's say thank you to Miss Becca, because oh. I learned a lot in this little time. Yeah, you I really love teaching, cool. so thank you guys so much. Thank you. Everybody say thank you, Miss Becca. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Say see you later, alligator. I hope you guys have fun. There's so much more to explore at the Cox Science Center, so come back for part two as the Salty Bros bust through a wall of pins do a little magic of their own, and learn all about coral reefs. And you know McCoy the Beach Cowboy will have a brand new song that you can sing along to. Subscribe now to Super Shells so you don't miss a thing.